Wrestling fans, the ninth annual Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive explodes into Christmas with 12 featured superstar guests. We can't bring you a live wrestling event due to COVID restrictions, but we'll be bringing you a series of cyber signings and meet and greets. On Friday night, December the 4th, fans around the corner and around the world can join a man involved in an intercontinental title scandal as Savio Vega, as well as the man under the mask, is martial arts expert Quang joins us for a live cyber autograph signing here at MWF Studios. Get a personalized autograph photo from Savio, signed live on the air and mailed to your home. Join us now through mid-December as the superstars help us continue our mission to update Santa Claus's GPS to find every kid's house this Christmas and put smiles on faces while honoring Paul Bearer's memory. VIP packages are still available. Don't worry, if you've missed a live superstar signing, Every star is signing enough photos while they're here in Boston to fill VIP packages through December the 19th. Whether for your wrestling collection or to give us a holiday gift, if you're going to take part in any toy drive this year, please help our 9th annual Paul Bearer Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive. Visit bostonwrestling.com and our social media platforms for complete event and toy drive information. One of the few true icons in this sport Andre the Giant. Andre, a super nice guy, fabulous person. He was very self-conscious of his size. So when we would go out to eat at a restaurant, a lot of people would come up and want to take pictures and ask him for an autograph. And he would always say no, and real, very strongly no. And the kids would kind of walk away. So after like the second or third time we've been out eating, I says, Andre, how come you never, how come you never want to take a picture or give any autographs to these kids? <clears throat> and he said to me, well, the reason I don't want to do it is because the only reason why they want to take a picture of me is because I'm a freak. And I just don't want, I don't want it. He says, if, if it was a friend or something, I, I would understand it. But he says, I just will not do the pictures. And, that, and then that ends up with the autographs too, he says, you know. But uh, other than that, that guy was a fantastic person. That, 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 nothing wrong with that either, but I mean, that was his own, uh, his own self-motivation there, the, way, the reason why he didn't want to do it. But a uh, super, super guy. Unbelievable st the stories about him. That, uh, his cars uh, going up in Maine and the car slides off the road. This is a true story. Tell us this one. <clears throat> This is uh, uh, Freddie, one of the referees. Uh, he was driving, and the uh, driving Andre, and they're up there on the main turnpike. It was coming down like a blizzard, and we're in the car in back of them, and their car <clears throat> just went into a spin and just spun out on the road. So he's trying to get it going, you know, and it just wouldn't go. So we all get out, and we're trying to push it out. We're trying to push it out, and then Andre, Andre just gets gets out, and he says, "Okay, so everybody stand back." Andre just takes the back of that car, or no lie, just takes the back of that car and just shove that whole car right up back onto the road. Unbelievable! Uh, a feat of strength I never have ever seen, <clears throat> and really, that's true. And off we went down the road again. His, uh, like always, the, uh, his hands were the size of baseball gloves and whatnot. And I don't know if I should tell this one. <clears throat> All right, I'll tell it. <laughs> Rest in peace, Andre. Oh, you're getting bad. <clears throat> no, this isn't bad. This is back in the 70s, so uh, there was a lot of drinking and driving going on, which you shouldn't do today, believe me. Uh, but back then, it was, was not looked on as that serious, even though it was, but it was not looked on. Probably everybody was drinking a beer or driving down the road. So we had like, uh, if we went to Worcester, that was only like uh, a half a case of beer, you know, coming back. And if Andre, you were driving with Andre, Andre would have a case of beer. It, besides you having your half a case of beer and a couple of big bottles of wine, red wine. <laughs> All right. And then if we went to Albany, in New York, that, that was like, uh, he would only do, do the case of beer, but it'd 
instead of buying a couple of bottles of red wine, they'd buy one of them big giant jugs of red wine, <coughs> and went, and then we'd get back. We'd get back to Boston. We'd be pulling in either to the, uh, in the old days, uh, at the old Boston Garden. It was the Madison Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'd, we'd either be pulling in there, and then when they threw us out of the Madison, there we went over to the, uh, oh, the on oh, Stewart and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I can't even remember the name, and it's still there today. Anybody help me out? <laughs> The Bradford, Bradford, the Bradford, yeah, over at the Bradford, and uh, would end up back there for the evening. We'd always make it, believe it or not, we'd run from Albany, New York, all the way back to Boston, and we'd make last call at the Bradford <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> yeah, but you could do, you How could, you could do 80 miles point? an hour on the Mass Pike back then. That was legal. I think 75. I think back in the 70s, uh, you could do 75 and 80 miles an hour on the mass pipe. And everybody had an Amos V8 engine, so you just put the hammer down and you're gone, you know? Um, I had a brand new uh, <coughs> 1971 LTD convertible loaded to the max. And then Andre comes up to me and says, hey, Duke, in that deep voice, I can't do it, but he says, hey, Duke, I want to ride with you tonight back to, uh, back to Boston. I said, okay. I said, we got to make the usual stop, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which was just go get the beer and whatnot. Well, anyway, <clears throat> we'd fl go hammer down, boom. My car's going down the Mass Pike. Here's Andre uh, on the driver's side. There's no way he'd get in the back. And his, his, knees are, his knees are up to the wind, top of the windshield. I got that convertible. I got that convertible down. <laughs> and we're going down the Mass Pike like crazy. Boom, right down. And then we get in, make last call at the Bradford. Boom, he goes in. I come the next morning to pick him up. We're going up to uh, uh, Bangor, Maine. And I call up. I says, Andre, where are you? Where are you? Come on, we got to get going. He says, uh, I'll be right down, boss. I got to talk to the uh, guy at the front desk. So he goes to the guy at the front desk. And he says, you know, uh, I want to, uh, I want you to uh, do a little something extra for me on the, on my bill. So the guy says, uh, sure, Andre, what would you like? He said, well, last night when I got in, I couldn't find my key to open the door. <laughs> so I kicked the door down. <laughs> oh. I kicked the door down. And then I picked it up, and I just leaned it back up. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and he says, now the door, I, all I want you to do is put the cost of a door onto my bill, you know? So the, the, uh, the guy says, Jesus, Andre, I don't know what the door is going to cost. Let me get the manager here. So he calls the manager, and the manager comes in. He says, oh, geez, Andre, don't worry. We'll pick it up next time you come in. <laughs> we'll, we'll put it on your bill next time you come in. We don't know. But uh, that's how well, like, what, you know, how well he was liked. He Everybody. Could eat. Oh, he eat. Could eat. He went down to that buffet in Rhode Island, I understand. Yeah. And wiped him out of what 20 to 30 lobsters yeah, I, uh, prime rib I, I guess I don't know what one it was but from what I understand they have a uh, a picture and a plaque on the wall yes, they do. that he uh, he had eaten so many lobsters it was uh, phenomenal of course a guy his size lobsters his guy his size could do that you know He's okay oh, boss yeah. I have a good time uh, yeah. Boss. yeah hey boss yeah that was his favorite <laughs> saying boss yep. everybody was boss yeah boss Quick yeah. question. Wrestling fans, the ninth annual Paul Bearer Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive Cyber Fan Fest explodes into Christmas with interactive cyber autograph signings, live interviews, raffles, merchandise, and more. We were excited to bring you a wrestling event here in Boston, but we have the ability to bring a Cyber Fan Fest to great fans like you around the world. Recent WWE NXT Cruiserweight Champion Leo Rush kicked off the drive with autograph photos and posters still for sale online. Let's run down the list of remaining cyber autograph signings where you can get an autograph photo for yourself or to give to a friend or a loved one this holiday. Mail order for your items is also available. On Survivor Series Sunday, November the 22nd, Monty Gennetti will be with us live for a cyber autograph signing during the farewell to The Undertaker. You never know what to expect with Marty in studio live. 
We're back Friday, December the 4th with the veteran, former Nation of Domination member Savio Vega, a.k.a. Quang, making a rare appearance in Boston. Things are going to get nasty on Saturday, December the 5th, when Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags, the Nasty Boys, join us for the very first time. A great chance to get the former WWE and WCW Tag Team Champions signed. Sunday night, December the 6th, WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas returns for a cyber Christmas party during our NXT Take over Watch Along. Tony will be signing autographs and will also have his art available for purchase. The following Friday, December the 11th, one of the most powerful superstars in wrestling history, The Warlord, joins us live in studio discussing his WWF run beginning in 1988. Saturday, December the 12th, the superstar undefeated for two years in the WWF, Native American Tatanka, will be with us supporting the toy drive. Then on Sunday, December the 13th, it's a double feature of Future star superstars as recent Ring of Honor Pure Title Tournament competitor Wheeler Yuta joins us in studio for the first time after competing here in Boston Wrestling MWF, along with the man visiting us for the first time in eight years, the new Impact Wrestling World Champion Rich Swan. And it wouldn't be Christmas without old John Cena Sr. with us live and in person as he's been working the phones on the North Pole again. Autographs and all-inclusive VIP packages are on sale now at bostonwrestling.com. Help our tradition of updating Santa's GPS to find every kid's home this year while creating smiles and honoring the late, great Paul Bearer's memory. From our family to yours, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. <laughs>